Good Wednesday morning, everyone. We are here again. <laughs> oh, how are you guys doing? Uh, as you can see, we're back on. I got Sable, so that means we have Mary with us. Say hi, Mary. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes you just see there's such a pause. Just like a half a second too long. I was like, wait, is she here? Did my headset kick uh -huh. off? Am I not hearing stuff? <laughs> All right. Well, um, we're just going to keep going like we have been, uh, playing with the kitty cats, um, trying to get uh, Sable's vampire level to six. Uh, we're, I'm halfway through five, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I'll, I'll know here in a few seconds. I'm logging in. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I've got my food in me, so I won't have to see me stuffing my face in, in stream, just drinking soda. <laughs> I actually got up at a decent time. I actually set my new alarm clock for... Th was No, I set it for... I think I set it for two. And I finally rolled out of bed a little bit after three. Which is about average. I usually spend about an hour in bed, you know, after, after my alarm goes off. I mean, on my weekends. Just, you know, flipping through Facebook and whatnot. Yeah, terrible timing. <laughs> I was just going to go... Uh, yes, I'll travel. I was just going to pick up my uh, daily when I got the uh -huh. notification. <laughs> and I, was I, I was trying to get in before, before you got that far. <laughs> and you did. You snuck it in. I could have ignored it, but I'm like, nah, because that thing only has a certain time frame before it goes away on its own, I believe. Yep. Oh, that's kind of... He's a little bit creepy. Or oh, she's got Evely in his chest, too, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, excuse me. That is kind of cool. Oh, well, let's see. Get to my notification. What is it? Oh, it's those things. Mimic stones. How about that? I've, I've actually able to keep the days I've missed logging into it so far down to two. Yep. So that means uh, tomorrow um, I'll get 100,000 gold. Yep. I don't know who to get. I'll have to think who I want to have it. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not like I can't take it, throw it in the bank, and have somebody else pick it up. Oh wait, what's my uh, vampire level right now? Uh, character. It's probably f oh it's stage three. Good deal. So I should be able to. Come to I should be. Master? I should be able to talk to the stable master at stage three. Cool. Did we go with speed or carry capacity? Take a good look around. Um, Many of them, from horses to guar. I think I'm gonna go carry capacity. Things that you. Cannot. Okay, I make carry capacity. I mean, at first, the first, I mean, with my main, um, I did speed all the way. And then I think from speed, I did stamina and then carry capacity. Not just because it was in order, was just because that's how I was using it. Because I was basically using the mount speed in elsewhere to make it to the different uh, dragon hunting grounds. Uh -huh. So, what are we doing now, Milksop? Uh, we are going to the ruin. Ooh, we had some, oh, that was some feedback when you did that. I could hear. There was feedback from what? Yep, yeah, 
Uh, your voice. I'm hearing really? it. Really? Yeah, it's really staticky. I wonder I why. I will be right back. Okay. Now it's possible it could be my... I don't want to say it's my headphones because then I, I should hear it on everything. And there's ambient background noise. Is that better? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Say something again. Um. Yeah, that's good. Just saying, um, because was all, all it took. Yeah. All right. I don't know what that was. I'd never heard that before. What did you just exactly. do? Just lock. I just, just disconnected and reconnected. Ah. On Discord. Okay. All right. So. Uh, I heard my mind blink. Sounds off. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, I turned my head. Turn my keyboard back on. Just long enough to get to the sound. And back. Yeah, I still, I still am unable to access my your, um, your reader. My reader, yeah, I can't get into it. I mean, it brings up a page, you know, where I can click to go, but then it says something about either the router took too long or. Or something. Oh. There's, I get an I error. See, I, see, I see a Hajmota. Hajmota. I, I also see a runestone, so I'm grabbing that first. Okay. So I, I probably need to contact Cox. Yeah. Because I, I know I could do it because just before. I'm, you're ready for the Hajmota. Yep. Um. I was going to say, um, I had actually tried to get into my, um, into my, uh, into my router, um, beforehand, but then that's how I knew it was going to, it was asking for my password and everything. Uh -huh. I thought I turned that off. Sometimes it doesn't play. Um, but anyways, um. Oh, you want some healing? It's. Actually, I'm slowly getting a little bit of it back for some weird reason. All right, there goes my uh, headset. I've, I've already given okay. you a heal. Yep, give me a second. And yeah, it, ha it, it happened a lot yesterday. When I was, I mean, just doing my normal stuff, the headset was disconnected probably six or eight times. Hmm. And now that I can't, for some reason, can't get in, you know, can't connect to my router. I mean, I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't fix the problem. No. Nope. Why is there death? Why is it show a death hopper with just a small bit of health? That was weird. They were both dead, but it showed one of them had, like, maybe 10% of his health. It does that sometimes. I'd never seen it before. <sighs> oh, I was saying, what is that? Oh, there's a backpack. A drink. What did you attack? Oh, Hajimoto. Hajimoto. Yeah. Blood Scion can now be morphed. <laughs> Let's morph this baby. Oh, you're going to go into combat. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. Skills. 
Vampire. All right, what do we have? Perfect has got to be it. Yep. There's either Swarming Sign, which says bats swarm around you and deal damage to enemies that come close, which sounds really cool. But then there's Perfect Scion. It says, new effect you send to Vampire Stage 5. Uh, let's see. You also send to Vampire Stage 5, which grants all the benefits of Vampire Stage 4 with none of the drawbacks. Kill. Well, we're going to see. We're, we'll see about that. I'll, of course, I'll have to wait until I can feed. I'll have to feed off of two people. But that shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have. I don't know if I'm gonna have to end up getting a hold of Cox, if that, if that, if it's, if you know, if that's gonna be a thing, or if I'm gonna have to just buy a router. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I've I've never had to deal with this How issue much before. Longer, Sombrin. This place makes me feel uneasy. Not long now. I'm almost. Uh, oh, it seems we have company. Okay, so I have to talk to... Can talk? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Talk to Kalia. I told Sombrin we should have talked to you before coming out here. But he was so insistent. What's Sombrin doing? Why did he bring you out here? He wanted to try something with the book. Away from other people, just in case. Sombrin thinks my only chance is if we return to the Deadlands. The nature of the realm naturally draws off my power, making it easier to control. The Deadlands? Mayrun's Dagon is sure to find you there. Sombrin doesn't think so. He says that's the last place they'd look for us. I'm still attuned to the realm from the trial in the Ashen Forest. Sombrin believes he'll have enough time to teach me if I'm not in danger of imminently exploding. Has your powders gotten worse again? Worse? I suppose that depends on your perspective. It has been growing in intensity again, back at the same level as when we first left the vault. Sombrin is worried I don't have much time. That's why he's being so insistent. Makes sense. Let's talk to Sombrin then. I'm actually glad you found us. I didn't want to leave without an explanation. But I'm afraid that Callie doesn't have a lot of time. Sombrin, what's going on? Callie's powers will be charging faster than I anticipated. It will soon reach the point where I won't be able to help her. Then she'll either release it and destroy everything around her, or it will consume her. Either way, people die, including Callie. So what are you planning to do? Use the Mysterium Zarxis to open a portal to the Deadlands? It's the only place I can think of where Kali will be safe. The realm naturally siphons off a portion of our power. That will give me time to teach Kalia to control it on her own. But the Deadlands? You'll be walking right into Mayron, Mayron's Dagon's realm. It's a big place. Zaina taught me how to avoid notice there. And it's the last place Dagon's followers will think to look for us. As soon as Kalia can control her power, we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, my friend, for everything. I'll return the book when we come back, Evelyn. Nah, you keep it. I think it was meant for you. All right, talk to Evelyn. Poor Kalia. I hope Sombrin's right and he can help her. But taking refuge in the Deadlands? That's like the sausage leaping out of the pan because it thinks the fire will be safer. As for me, I never want to visit the Deadlands again. How do you feel about Sombra and taking your book with him? Hey, it wasn't my book. I was just keeping it safe for... Well, as crazy as it sounds, I think I was meant to give it to Sombra. He certainly did more with it than I ever could. And I'm not about to miss the bad dreams and the waking visions. So what do we do now? We go to the party. It's taking place in the gardens behind the governor's mansion. To think, 
This all started because I was curious about a coded journal I found in Emperor Leovic's old retreat. We figured out the secret, and now we celebrate. <laughs> I'll see you at the party. Last one there doesn't get any cake. <laughs> No filtering, just enough life force from her, we can outrun her. And then mm -hmm. she will get no cake. See, mm -hmm. <laughs> one wonders if there will be moon sugar sprinkled on the cake. This one thinks very likely. <laughs> if not, there will be. <laughs> well, look. Froggy! There was a bog dog down here earlier. Ooh, Hashimoto! And hacklings. No, those were herons. one. What in the world? What killed the flower? No idea. Maybe the bug dog. Something killed... Whoa! It just was asleep! <laughs> it pulled itself back together. I know this is a bad idea, but this one wants to see what it does. It plays dead, okay? It is uh -huh. playing. It, I do not know what it's supposed to do, but it's playing dead. I thought it was dead. It tricked me. Come on, flower. Do your little thing. Pull yourself together. Yes. I just, uh, it, then nothing. Okay, cool. So the white, at least this white one, does nothing but hide and faint. Uh huh. That is workable. Oh, crocodile! Is those crocodiles? Look like crocodiles. Hey, don't water the milk sock. Oh, she she'll afraid to come to milk sock. <laughs> no, because this is attacking one. me. I <laughs> bet you are the milk sock. This one is not a milk sock. <laughs> uh, that is your opinion. Alright. Party. That sounds delicious, assassin. You must leave me a copy of the recipe. That's something you don't want to hear when you come to a party. You know, that sounds delicious, assassin. You must leave me the recipe. Yeah. Thinking, yeah, I think I'm gonna go eat and drink somewhere else, thank you. <laughs> Damn, this is boring party. Mm. People just standing around, not doing anything. I think they may be waiting for us. I hope not. Welcome to the celebration, mercenary. There are many here who wish to thank you and share a drink or two. Where are Sombrin and Kalia? I expected you to bring them with you. Sombrin took Kalia somewhere to teach her how to control her power where they won't endanger others. Choosing exile to spare others from danger is a noble decision. 
I wish them well, even as I worry about Sombrin and Kalia out there on their own. Everyone else has gathered. Eat, drink, talk to your friends. In time, I shall address the crowd. Who should Sable talk to? Anyone you like. They have all come to show you their appreciation. And do not leave too swiftly. I intend to boast of your accomplishments soon. I see Evely has arrived. Perhaps you should begin with her. Evely has arrived. That means we beat you here, you get no cake. Those were your words, not mine. Talk to Evely now. So this is what it's like being the hero everyone looks up to? Most of the stories I've read end with a hero riding off into the sunset before anyone can properly thank them. But I feel like we ought to stay for just a little while, don't you? Definitely. You're a famous adventurer now. I don't know about that, but I certainly feel more experienced. And I have you to thank. Well, you and Captain Rianne and Governor Keshu and poor Foul Lupus. Can you believe this all started because I couldn't leave Emperor Leovic's secret alone? We still need to find the fourth ambition, I suppose. That's right. I almost forgot. And we should be ready to help Sombrin and Kalia when they return. I don't believe that Mayroon's Dagon and his followers are just going to leave them alone. I really thought the ambitions were actual weapons, though. Take care of yourself, Evely. Here. Your share of the last of our compensation from Leowin. And a little something from me. I learned so much at your side. If you ever need any help, just send word and I'll come running. Oh, look. I think Governor Keshu is ready to speak. Welcome, people of Blackwood and honored friends. We have weathered a terrible storm. So now, we celebrate. Many had a hand in this victory, including those who gave their lives for our cause. But I want to honor the two heroes beside me. Without them, all would have been lost. So stand tall and raise your cups to the sky. Remember those who fell and praise the deeds of those who lived. To victory! <laughs> yeah, Elam's there. Can you talk to him? Oh, I'm gonna talk to Elam. <laughs> I suppose things worked out in the end, but let me offer a word of caution. Dragging the Brotherhood into this was risky. What you do in your spare time is your business. But assassins don't like the spotlight. We prefer lurking in the shadows. What's next for a master assassin? You mean after helping you clean up this massive debacle? Oh, the usual, I guess. Try some more of the local cuisine. Collect my next contract. Complete my next contract. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> All I can say is, I really hope we never see Elam unmasked. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I don't think the reality will fit the mystery. Mm -hmm. um, there have been multiple cases of professional wrestlers that were unmasked and it ruined their career. Mm. It has been successful on some, but devastating for others because you think they're like, you know, like Elam. You look at him, you think, I bet he looks, like, hard and cold. Ah, what is this? Uh, they're on the... Oh, that's an amber alert. And I know amber alerts are different over there in the... In. Across the pond! Amber alerts for when a child has gone missing. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I just see Elam as, like, this really, you know, rugged-looking guy. Mm -hmm. It would be like, say, for example, you're expecting to find Clint Eastwood under that mask, and you end up seeing his Justin Timberlake. 
Uh-huh. <gasps> Dreamer's here! Oh, is she? Dreamer. Yeah. Dream yeah, Dreamer. Oh. Let's talk to Dreamer and see what Dreamer has to say. So this is what it's like to be part of an audience. It's much more cheerful than watching silently from the shadows. I especially like the clapping and cheering. <laughs> How has your transition been? Oh, wonderful. All the players have welcomed me among the troop as if I've always been a part of it. Some even invented some backstories for me that are way more interesting than anything I came up with. So you are enjoying being an actor? Yes, yes, yes! I've gotten to try out so many things since I became Alchemy's student. Uh, like sticking a sword under my arm for a death scene and not stabbing myself in the chest. I'm not allowed to try sword swallowing yet, though. Best of luck with your future roles. Thank you for giving me a chance. I get to be anyone I want now, but most importantly, I get to be me. Uh, and don't worry, I am now totally aware that break a leg is merely a figurative expression. <laughs> Dreamer is so cute. <laughs> kind of makes me think of kind of like a puppy. Mm -hmm. He's got that, just that puppy energy and excitement, you know, and, you know, mm -hmm. messes up here and there. But just because he's just so enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How many people can you talk to? Looks like every everybody. Who just came through Portal? Ah! Lerd just showed up. Well, I will go talk to her. Well, third. <laughs> talk to Lerd, see what she has to say. It seems you have done well, little mortal. I hear you killed Mayrun's Dagon's High Priest and stopped the planes from merging. I find you to be... interesting. I will remember that the next time I require the assistance of a mortal agent. The next time? You must realize that the events surrounding Levik's secret and the four ambitions have not yet reached their climax. When next Dagon and his followers emerge from the shadows, I will be waiting to see what they do. And then, I'll send for you. <laughs> Alright, we will start here and let's talk to Mathen Galanus. You made the right decision having Isara keep me around. We will be very happy together, the muse and the writer. Alright, now we'll talk to Isara. Isn't it wonderful? Such a romantic story I've written for myself. But I feel like there's much left to discover. This party is sure to involve some steamy goings-on as well. How do you feel about your new arrangement? Wonderful. It's going smashingly. He's my muse, my inspiration, my reason for getting out of bed. And he's my... well, we'll have to see, won't we? I was really hoping she, she, she was not going to say her reason for getting into bed. I was going to say, don't want to hear about ghost sex. No, thank you. All right, seeks the dark. Or seeks the dark. Uh, try not to draw any unnecessary attention, would you? We already stick out like a sore thumb with Aerithel gaping over the scenery. What are you two doing here? Trying to blend in. Badly. Just wanted to say farewell before we skip town. Figure we owe you that much after you salvaged that job for us. Did things work out? Surprisingly, yes. We got that hunk of junk to our buyer, and they were thrilled to take it off our hands, even in its busted condition. I expected a high elf collector to be more fussy. Things worked out for everybody but the painted eye. Where are you headed next? Back to give the guild its cut and report on Erethos' progress. Or lack thereof. She did manage to show some improvement this time, but she's not ready to leave the nest. Plus, I don't hate anyone at the guild enough to inflict her on them. <laughs> Alright, now let's talk to her, Phil. Ooh, fancy party. 
Look at you making friends in all the high and low places. I bet a few of these folk have a plump pouch in their drawers. Are you two here to steal something? What? No! Well, maybe just the little snacks coming by on the trays, but that's what you do at parties, right? Six and I just wanted to check in on you. He says maintaining good contacts is important in the business. Plus, you know, free food. What happened to the relic you broke? Six was afraid we'd get fleeced on the payment, but the old guy was totally fine with it being busted. He was relieved even. Said it's one less dangerous object in the world. Turns out he's got a vault full of cursed stuff. Weird thing to collect. What's next for you two? We'll be getting back to the guild with our dues. I'm sure after this job I'll be a fully-fledged thief. Oops. Full-fledged thief. Then Lady Twilight will make her debut for real. We should do another caper soon. I do not care that she is thief. I really do not. I mean, I am. This one is thief. And yet this one doesn't talk about people having plump, pow, plump, pow, uh, how did she put it? Uh, plump pouches in their pockets? Yeah, that's a little too, too much information. Let's see, who do we talk to next? Too many people. Uh, let's see, if you talk to Brigadine Lieutenant Viria. A pleasure to see you again. Many Brigadines, myself included, have been quite impressed with the stories we've heard of your exploits. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised given what you did for us at Hutanzel. Alright, then we talk to Hinjas. Heroic friend, I am very glad to see you alive and well. It is a shame I could not fight in the fierce battle with you and lend you my incredible strength. But a great warrior such as yourself proved victorious anyway. Four things at one cell. Tentative, like a newly formed river emerging from two springs. But it flows. The water is muddy, but will soon run fresh and clear, I am sure. Nahish Nurwal and Lieutenant Biria have been working hard to ensure that our peace lasts. Thanks to you. Okay, now I will talk to Captain Rian Moore. So, any chance I could talk you into enlisting in the Ivory Brigade? No? I didn't think so. I want to thank you for helping us with all this. I hate to imagine what would have become of Blackwood if not for you and Everly. I'm in your debt. Okay, Mary. You should have seen the look on Liam's face when I invited him to this. There, look, you can still see the leftover wide-eyed disbelief. <laughs> I can hardly believe it myself. The life of, a, of an adventurer is never dull. Isn't that the truth? Of course, exciting for me is exploring an old ruin and hoping I find more treasures than traps, not battling the hordes of Mayrunes fetching Dagon over the fate of the world. I was not prepared for the latter. Considering retiring? Not a chance, Fla. Today I learned that's something I can do. The next time I'll be better prepared. But try not to let that intimidate you. Talk to Leon? Miri said you were involved in some big adventure, but I never thought she meant literally going to war with a Daedric prince. He's been busy in Blackwood, as you know. I'm a little bit mad that Miri didn't invite me to help you this time, but I won't pretend that I would have been any help at all. I barely got out of that scrape with the Waking Flame alive. Just don't let her get a big head about it, all right? No promises. Yeah, well, fair. Mary might even be more headstrong than mother. You take care of my sister, though. Our dad will get an ulcer if you two are always off to Vec knows where in oblivion. This one will try to keep her out of trouble. That's all a helpless baby brother can ask. At least until I can wrestle with four armed giants myself. Hope to see you both again soon. What is it? 
Somebody was rude, I don't know. What is it? Mm. Let's see, who do we talk to next? Oh, we can't talk to this little group. No, there's a couple of folks you can't talk to. I've talked to everybody. And I plotted uh, out where the last elf is. Uh, I'll talk to Baragon. Councillor Leviticus' suggestion is wise. If not Governor Keshu, someone in Gideon should know where to find the Ojel Bok. If it's actually a place, that is. Just make sure you watch out for my sister. Everly is good, but she's still learning. Someone's living in the past. I can't remember. I don't think I talked to Alchemy yet. The House of Reveries couldn't pass up attending such a lustrous affair, even if we aren't the main attraction. I always knew you were lead material. Bravo! I am going to go and hang out at the Wish Shrine. Okay. How are things going with your understudy? Dreamer is a marvel to behold. Fantastic and dreadful at the same time. A true idiot savant. They almost killed themselves practicing pratfalls. Once informed that there is more technique than throwing themselves on their face, they learned quickly. Sable guesses you'll have your hands full. More than with most hopefuls, certainly. But there's nothing more rewarding than nurturing a burgeoning talent. Mark my words, Dream will be a star. I might find myself next in line for Grand Maestro when all is said and done. Best of luck. I think we both know that luck has little to do with it. May your talents lead you to your dreams as well. All right, let's see who's next. Tanari Vells. It seems like you've been rather busy. I heard you would be here today, to so I thought I'd stop coffee. by. Okay. I finally paid off my debt to last toll thanks to you. I'm free. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Where will you go now, Tanari? Home, I think. It turns out there were some wealthy people in Leowin willing to pay to keep their relatives' involvement with the cult of the Unmaker from coming to light. I made out like a bandit. Now I can pay off my family's debts, too. Yeah, good for her. I talk to Jairus. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. It's good to see you again. What's the news from Telnaga? The news is favorable. My letter to the Magisters convinced them that the Phantasmal Censor is a worthy enterprise. I'm to carry on Revis's work. I believe my teacher is in good standing. For now. So you really did have a change of heart. The wise mage is the mage who can learn from their mistakes. I may not have underestimated Revis's skill, but I definitely underestimated his tenacity and faithfulness. I learned a great deal. And that is worth all the trauma. <laughs> right, let's talk to Rebus. Ah, greetings. I heard you're to blame for all this reckless frivolity. <laughs> no great surprise there, eh? Well done. I'll try not to knock anything over or set anything on fire. No promises, though. Any word from House Telavani about our adventures in Veyam? Yes, as a matter of fact. Tyrus's letter was very well received in Telnaga. The Magisters want to see the Phantasmal Sensor at work. Can you believe that? So you're headed back to Morrowind? Yes. Well, no. Sort of. I'm giving the Sensor to Tyrus. All the pomp, plotting, and vanity among the Magisters. It's just not for me. I only made the Sensor to keep them off my back. This way, Tyrus gets what he wants, and I get some peace. Back to your other pursuits, then? Indeed. I've got all sorts of ideas for a new book of Overmancy. Eggs with smaller eggs inside. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Don't... Just don't answer that. <laughs> okay. Who's, who's this? Oh. Amalia... That's Stalin or something. 
Everyone's been talking about the things you've done for Blackwood. I had no idea you'd been so busy. I find myself edified, enlightened, and exhilarated by the tale of your heroics. Thalevon himself could not have done better. Have you been able to bring Thalevon's legend to light? Yes, I have. The relics we recovered from Undertow Cavern turned out to be exactly the sort of proof I needed to convince other scholars that someone important had been entombed there. I am voracious, victorious, and vindicated. And apparently likes the letter V for some reason that I do not remember. Hey, oh. So here's a group. Mi Mirta. The Zephyr Eternal. I had no plans to leave my cavern where the magic of the Eternal flow, but I had to see this little celebration for myself. It seems I made a wise decision. The drinks here taste more refined than Otumi Ra's bug water. Perhaps I may learn the recipe. <laughs> right, um, Elossi. The sudden gust. In a party with this many people, I find it quite simple to sneak extra drink unnoticed. A little misdirection, and someone's food vanishes from their plate. Just a little game I play with myself. <laughs> All right. Atumira, the unrelenting gale. It is time to feast and make merry. Where is the cake? Where is the drink? Point me to the games of strength. None of these dry-skinned Bikos shall leave this party unchallenged. <laughs> He's definitely a party kind of guy. Nuxel. This party is exactly how I like them. Keshu the Blackfin really knows how to throw a celebration. Reminds me of the feasts that Otumi Ra throws. We might be up until the morning frogs sing. What are you in the village at Stormway still now? Well, after you left, we discussed moving on, but the winds convinced us to stay. We fought for our home. Leaving would hollow out our victory. So, the rebuilding has begun. Feel welcome to visit should the marsh breeze ever blow you in our direction. He's still struck. Just his build and his sound and everything still strikes me so weird. He sounds. I mean, his voice, he sounds physically exhausted. His appearance, he looks like. He looks like he doesn't have scales, like they fell off or they were peeled off because his, the pink on him looks raw or, you know, just very, well, dang near raw. And the rest of it looks like uh, psoriasis. So he just looks like he has a really, really, you know, horrid skin problems. And that he's exhausted, and why he's moving around a lot like that makes me think he's been drinking, but he's holding a frog. So, toad licking, maybe? Maybe he's high? I mean, why else would he have a live frog in his hand? I mean, I would hate to see him just kind of go, Arr! you know, that would really suck, but what other reason could there be? I mean, leave a comment down below. What do you think's going on here? All right, let's see. Who's next? Anybody. You am returned. I was just talking about Noxel. Uh-huh. Uh, what did you think of him? Um, is he drunk? And why was he holding frog? Could he have been toad licking? Quite possibly. Quite possibly, yes. I was wondering about that. Oh, there's... 
Stibbins and some slimes. I will talk to Stibbins. Oh, a party was just what I needed to calm my nerves after what happened at the Zonmere. It's sort of refreshing to attend a function where I'm not the primary servant doting on the crowd. So no lingering effects concerning the boroplasm or your duplicates? No, unless you count these tiny balls of goo that keep following me around. Lady Laurent says she catches glimpses of other me's in the crowd, but I think that's just her nerves. She can be quite tense and irritable if she skips her afternoon tea. I'll talk to Lady Laurent. It's good to see you, friend. I wanted to make sure you knew how thankful I am for rescuing Stibbins from all that slime. Good help, well, mediocre help, is so hard to replace. Oh, and I heard you saved Blackwood. Congratulations on that. <laughs> What's next for Lady Laurent? Oh, I'm sure there'll be another adventure. And Stibbins goes where I go. I can't seem to get rid of him, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> no, no, I jest. I wouldn't think of leaving him behind. Who else would carry all my packages? He's very good at that. I wouldn't mind having little slimes follow me around as long as they were not sticky. I know that sounds, con con you know, kind of contradictory. Slimes are supposed to be sticky, but you know, I wouldn't want them leaving sticky stuff all over the place. And sticky slimes are kind of hard to pet. Oh, wait, who's that? What did I see? Pippers. Wait a minute. We can pet the dog. I don't. Pet both dogs. Both dogs? Oh, there's another one. Dylan. That is weird. It, it feels strange as Gajits to pet dogs. Mm -hmm. They're so horrible, nasty, and ugly creatures. Sticky. Yes, they smell like, well, they smell like dog. They smell uh -oh. like dog. That's it. Uh oh. At least I I can now, uh, fi I figure, you know, I learned where the button's placement is so I can actually turn it back on without taking the headset off. That saves me a lot of time. Alright, was that the video one? Wait, no, that's Dylan. Already... Oh, here's a couple of people. Counselor Leviticus. I wanted you to know how appreciative I am of what you've done for us. Not only did you reveal Vandasia for the traitor he was, you took him down and saved Blackwood. Countess Cairo in the Chamber of Legates, thank you. You're always welcome here. What are your plans for Leywin now, Counselor? Plans? The same as they were before this trouble started. Work with Gideon to secure our borders and keep the war from impacting Blackwood directly. Make sure our communities stay safe and prosper. If not for you, none of that would even be possible. He was talking way too calm to be clapping. It was very weird and unsettling, even for this one. Right, talk to Perseus. You're not wearing that dashing outfit I sold you? If today's celebration is not the perfect occasion to dress up, I don't know what is. Perhaps you should visit my shop again to freshen up your wardrobe, hmm? Sable is surprised you got invited to this affair. Why? Shouldn't a leading Leowin business person attend a celebration for all of Blackwood? Besides, after I let word slip that you and Everly had patronized my shop, business has been booming. Everyone just has to know which outfit you selected. Right, I think that is everyone. And you went to which way shrine? You went to outside. Oh, you just went to the way shrine. What do you want? 
Okay, so I... All right. The stream pick me up now. Do what? Yeah, the stream is picking me up again. The last time your headset went off, it stopped uh, streaming my audio. Oh. Uh, we are going to Stone Wastes, which is the southernmost. Oops. It doesn't happen too often that you get disconnected. Um, okay, now I need to turn this stream down because I'm hearing everything four times. Mm -hmm. Um, what we what we should do? Help remind me every time I reconnect my headset. We'll do uh do a sound check to make sure you can hear me and I can hear you. Mm -hmm. I do that automatically. Mm. Well, I don't remember us doing it so. Where are you going? Let me go. Yes, that's the good, good idea. Pull the vampire toward you. Mm -hmm. What could possibly go wrong with this decision? And just, just leave a stubby assassin to come in and sneak behind you. Exactly. Okay, Zizi. this is, is the last delve. Let me see where we are. Oh, okay. Well, we should have gotten, it should have popped up if we would have taken that one dotted road, if you look on the map north of us, if we would have taken that in and down to its conclusion, even if we were on the other side we've, of it, we've been down we the How did we not discover it before? Because uh, we went, we didn't come down this road at that point. We went straight across to the Olid Well. Hmm. We we probably had the well on our minds and didn't get close enough. All right, let's see. Stop. I am in need of your help. Jayla, I guess. I erect the spine of fear, formidable stranger. I need your help. The Sulzan captured me and my friends in order to use us for a cruel ritual. I managed to escape, but my friends remain inside. I intend to go back and rescue them. Do you know anything about the ritual that's endangered your friends? I overheard as I attempted to escape. The Sulzan possess a relic, the idol of Zulanat. They will use it to consume the spirits of my friends so that they may summon a spirit of destruction. I am no lymph-finned hatchling, but I cannot stop this alone. What do you need this one to do? I need you to come with me into this Zanmir and free my friends in order to interrupt the Sulzan's rituals. Then, we must destroy the idol of Zulanat to prevent this atrocity from befalling another clan. I will pay you handsomely for your aid. I... I like most of the way she looks. I... I was just thinking that her hood is too... dark and too shiny. I think. Mm -hmm. It sticks... I think it needs to be... probably about... You see the her waist piece, how she has those three feathers. Mm -hmm. The brown, the the darker, the dark brown on that. I think that should be the color. I mean, that's not yeah. that big of a difference, but it's just enough. It looks, it you know, her hood looks like it's sweat soaked or like oil soaked, and Probably it just does oil, oil soaked. Yeah, I just I just don't like the way it looks. It needs to be just like I said about the color around that waist piece. And I think it would be perfect. Mm-hmm. Alright. This one will help you free your like friends. I like the hood at all. Mm. Yeah, that too. And destroy the idol of Zulana. As mud is my mother, I mean, if you think I about it, how are we to see that she likes the spider's head? She has horrible fate. 
let us head quickly inside. Keep your teeth sharp. How do you know what sh where the spine is? She told us at the start that she erected the spine of fear and I saw her hat, hat move. It must be under her hat. If you, I, this one did not see hat move. Not if she would have said she erects the spines of cold wind, then I could, but that I probably could see both of them. <laughs> but I do not know where her spines are. Maybe the spines on her tail. Maybe the spine is on her back. This one does not know. All right. Uh, um, can you tell this one more about the Zulna, the Sulzan? The Sulzan are Naga who worship only chaos, nothing more. They fuel oh, I forgot their about them. with horrible rituals and sacrifices, hoping it will bring an end to the world. They are violent, callous, and insane. But I fear their true threat is all too real. Naga? They are like my people, but harsher, crueler. Naga bear many similarities to the Saxlil, but they are often taller and their faces wider. They are drawn to war and violence. Both come easily to them, which is why this threat is so dire. That's weird that she says that the uh, Naga are like her people. But harsher, crueler, thick. That's a kind of a bad way to put it. Because while you can tell that the you know the Argonians or the Saxlia are, you know, look like crocodiles or not really crocodiles, but just like lizards, basically, the Naga are s snakes. They're both you know? reptilian. Yeah, that, but that's generalizing. You know. You could be a little bit more specific. She could have been a little bit more specific. But, you know, neither here nor there. Uh, what, what are they trying to do? Their rituals have the potential to summon an ancient spirit of destruction. If they cannot use my friends to do it, they will find someone else. I believe destroying the idol will stop them. But I must first ensure my friends are safe. Wait, that's so, so nothing. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Do you know anything about this place? I'm afraid not, Bikojel. All I know is that Zitze is one of the Sulzan's favorite shrines. Many of the Saxlil have lost their lives there due to the Zulzan's terrible rituals. Their blood wets the stones. I hope my friends will not join them. Pico uh, Jell? Saxlil? What do these words mean? Ah, forgive me. These things come easily to the tongue. In my language, Pico Jell is something akin to friendly outsider. Someone who is not quite a stranger. Saxlil essentially is the same as Argonian, though the latter is the imperial term. Um, what is the idol of Zulna? I cannot remember if I asked that or not. I do not know. I only heard of it in passing as I escaped. I imagine something like that comes from a time when my people worshipped stone and had little reverence for the hist. All I know is the Sulzan can use it to trap the spirits of the dead. <coughs> I didn't make... Yeah, I, I never made that connection. The Argonians, they have stuff like this. You know, what you can tell is either Inca or Maya influenced, but that is no longer their their worship. Mm -hmm. They now worship the Hist. Mm -hmm. They're Hist trees. Huh. So basically we're we're in an area with a people and it shows their their past religion and their with their present religion. Mm-hmm. That's actually kind of cool if you think about it. Mm. 
<laughs> I know, you're like, whatever, pothead, get your ass in the dungeon. I was actually thinking it's probably very much like, like South America as it is, with their old Mayan and Incan traditions and the Christian traditions. Yeah, I, I guess so. We must free my friends to disrupt the rituals. Let us make haste. <laughs> But I mean, the, I mean, the way the way I'm seeing it would be like, say, for example, if um, we were like, like, say, um, I don't know, Americans started out being Buddhist, for example, and you'd see, you know, uh, Buddhist statues everywhere. But you know, we're all, you know, like, you know, like, say, we're all Christians now. You know, just using it as an example, obviously. But that's that's kind of how I was seeing it. Kind of like you see Buddhist statues all over the place because at one time we used to be Buddhist. That was our religion, but it's not anymore. But it's, you know, all of the, you know, statues and stuff is still there. Just, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's really kind of neat when you think about it. At least I think it is. Ah! I've never noticed. Are they normally crouching, or do they just pop up out of the ground? They sometimes just pop up out of the ground. Okay. But they're usually just hanging around. Because I normally when I, I never usually see them until combat, and so I, and and they're kind of that shadowy color. So it, you know, I never see them. They're just not observant. You know this is swamp, right? You know how easily swamp gets rid of dead bodies? You are not listening, Milksop! You're gonna... I, I am... I am... Just... I'm gonna say... You pray! <laughs> That I can't see. Ooh, is that Hashimoto? Viroplasm. Oh, vi viroplasm and oh, dead Hashimoto. This is for me. Is anything in here? We have to viroplasm. Uh oh. Lost my sound. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> Alright, sound these back. Ah! Something bit me in the butt. <laughs> I looted the little viroplasm and the big one is like, Hey, that's my sense! It's like, alright! Jeez! No, that's the wrong way. This way. I forgot to do sound check. What the hell did you so? Up. Oh, hang on. Lost sound again. <sighs> sound check, please. I uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And ah! on this. <laughs> Can't turn me on stream if you're electrocuting yourself. <laughs> okay, can hit me on stream. Woo! Energizing! Ooh, I wonder if, if um, these ones can be fed upon. Possibly? 
Because remember, she's one vantage to check and see what Vampire 5 looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So let's see. Go into crouch and see if we can find someone to eat. Let's see. Anyone nearby? Um, I don't know if I can... Oh, here's one this one might be able to get behind. I wonder if he's up on the rock. Maybe not. And use blade of whoa. The angle is probably keeping me from being able to Jayla. use. Is Damn it! You? There goes my sound again. <sighs> sound check, please. Yes, this, yes, this one too. I can hear you just fine, loud and clear. There's, I don't know how many more times it's going to happen. This happens too um, dang much as it is. Can we hear me on stream? Yeah, wait, can you hear me on stream? Okay. And I can hear my sound blinking, so it's trying to do it again. Um, Where did you go? I'm up here on the rock. Okay. Because I wanted to see if I could sneak up on these, but I'm not. I'm not going to be able to sneak up on this one, from that because um, of the angle and the one on top of the rocks up there. I can't because of the angle. So. Uh, I might be able to sneak that, up. That means you should be able to get the other one now. I should be able to get the one on the bridge. I'll do that when he gets back. Got this one here. Bridge one. No, oh, I haven't haven't made it over here. Disrupt. He's on his way. Get to safety, Koran. We will find the others. There's the one that could that I might be able to sneak up. He is looking for you. This one notices. Let's see. Oh, I can. Dang it. I hate that in order to use it, um, when I do the, go to do the move, she has to draw her weapons. So sometimes I actually have to hit the but hit the buttons like twice to actually be able to perform the move. There's two there. You might be able to get the one that's going right. Don't you try. Nice. Endeavor completed. I'm going looting last rest to see if you can eat more. I might lose my sound. At this stage, is it really a mite? Hmm. Not really. Okay, I. So I mean, I don't. At the uh, doorway. I don't really want to go back to using my old headset just because it was. I'd lost enough of the pa the padding out of the headband that it was actually hurting my head, hurting the top of my head. It got detected. There goes my sound. Sound check, please. Sound check. Testies, testies. One, two, one, two. Yep. Loud and clear, thank you. That's checked. And the sound just blinked again. 
And that's why I will never I will never own uh, anything else made by Steel Series again. Let's start getting things that are um, Bluetooth. It's the Bluetooth that's the issue, isn't it? Rather than the actual headset. Um it should be it if here's here's my thing. If this was an issue, because I mean I've been on their website and a lot of people have this problem. If it is if that is a common problem, I mean if it's like say a computer Bluetooth thing, then well actually regardless of why this issue comes up, if this is an issue that's gonna happen, don't sell the product. You know, this is the, wired. Yeah, have yeah, have it wired or make it true wireless. Don't make it Bluetooth. You know, this is a this is a subpar piece of garbage, and I mean I wouldn't care if the owner and or president of whoever Steel Series is by came to my house and offered me a free headset, which just kicked off again, so I can't hear anything. He offered it to me. I tell him to get that piece of shit out of my face. Again, I cut off. Sound check, please. Okay, you're kind of Sorry, muffled. muffled biscuit. <laughs> I, darn, I tried to get my comment in before you started. I was going to say, you sound kind of muffled. <laughs> I should be vampire level five. Let me check, look real quick at. Should be character. Even though it doesn't say it. Oh wait, maybe it has to be maxed out. The skill probably has to be maxed out all the way properly. Or do I hit? Or do I? Or is it temp? Oh wait, I probably have to go into. I haven't activated it yet. It's not full, so we'll see what happens if there's a timer on it. I've got to actually have it fully charged mm -hmm. before I can hit that, and then probably be able to feed. Whoops. <clears throat> it's not full yet, but darn close. So I guess just go. Alright, so don't forget, since this is Delve, we've got a boss and a Sky Shard. And a Sky Shard. And I have maps at the ready. Hurry! They must be performing more rituals further inside. Headset went. Oh wow, he was a weird looking. That was that. That was a soul son? That's not Naga. My ass, that's Naga. Sound check, please. Uh, testes, testes, what do, what do? Loud and clear, thank you. Those are not Naga. The pain! Ah! I, I, the I wanted to get that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Will not have her. See, look, there's a dude, with, Sulzan. You got a dude with a torch there. Yeah, Sulz, a Sulzan. That, that's not Naga. That's not even close to Naga. I can see why she said they're like their people. I was actually just getting ready to feed off it. You get it! Milk up! My plate was getting thirsty. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why they call those Naga. That's not even. No! No! I. They, I mean, there are Naga-like creatures in this game. I can't remember what they're called, but they're over in, uh... Oh, shoot, what is that area? Now I have to look at the map. OCD says, look at the map, stupid! Merkmire. I believe that's where it is. I 
think it's Markmire. Or no, Shadowfin. Or maybe both. But in that in that area, they have actually... Well, I don't think they... Column Nog, I don't remember. Headset just turned off. Sound check, please. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? <sighs> that is a bit of a joke uh, of Jewish and Christian orientation. Oh, hey, Amy! Instead, in, instead of a Jew making the sign of the cross, mm -hmm. what they're actually doing is checking. They have their spectacles, they have their testicles, they have their wallet, and they have their watch. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, Amy, I sure, I sure mi uh, miss you. I haven't seen you in forever since you don't work at Wally World anymore. But thank you for popping in if you're still there. Yeah, I'm almost at, uh, that almost looked, hold on, got the snoop, hold still, hold still, hold still, never mind, okay. We headed, I guess we're headed this way, alright. I was say, I'm al almost have, um, enough to be able to use my ultimate. I was going to say, didn't we just do this? But this is a higher... Ah, there goes the headset again. <sighs> Sound check, please. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, oh. and watch. <laughs> Loud and clear. Steel series, you guys suck. Someone came in just ahead of us. Oh, the one, the ones that I was like yelling, "Hold still, hold still, hold still." Entirely possible. Yeah, because I saw him running across the bridge, and he his armor, the way I saw it, just a quick flash of it, reminded me of the um, Anubis armor from Stargate. Uh huh. And so I had to, you know, I had to see with, you know, my little bit of hope that it was something that that's what I saw was an Anubis type armor. Uh, unfortunately it was not. <laughs> I was hoping because I'd be like, oh my god, I want one! Mm -hmm. Mostly because that's something I've always been absolutely fascinated with and loved is, uh, Egyptian, uh, art, Egyptian style, the, the colors, the clothing, you know. I always have just been fascinated with that. Not so much the pyramids. <laughs> hmm. Pain okay, in the so pain in the tail. Should be that end. So just checking. Yeah, check that end. But lootable. Whoa! What's oh? Hey. Bastion took care of it. I have no idea where it came from though. It was just a respawn. Because I, I, as I was turning around, I saw the, you know, just like, you know, the, the very, very end split second of the respawn. Uh-huh. 
snacks. I do. Uh, hold on. No. Something was getting one mad. That's it. Let's see. Oh. <clears throat> Remember me. <laughs> Hitting me? What are you hitting me for? All I did was eat your friend. Jeez. Rude. Incredibly. He kept oh. us to eat. Exactly. That doesn't scream step on me, you moron. I don't know what does. So that not. You want to read? Can? Do you want my accent or Kajiti accent? Whatever you feel like doing. Okay. The idol thirsts. Its face turns upward with a thousand wanting mouths and it begs. It is from a long time ago, a time forgotten, but it will serve as well. It is ours to take and to feed. It will need many to become full and bring forth the spirit of destruction. The spirit will burn fields and fill the swamps with blood. It will sow chaos wherever it touches, so long as we are able to bring it here. But the idol remains so very hungry, we need more bodies for the rituals. Does the spirit enjoy those screams? We will make many more. The, idiot, the idol will drink and drink until the spirit arrives. All right, so you started off British and went Khajiit. I was going all over the place. <laughs> well, it's kind of sound like. <clears throat> well, Amy, if you're still uh, watching, how have you been? You doing all right? Go. Hold on. Uh, headset just turned off. Damn. Because I know, Amy, every time I'd see you at work, I'd always say good morning to you. Oops. Wrong screen. There we go. Oi! What is... I don't want to stand on it. I thought for sure that that thing would be something that you would interact with. What, the breathing on the floor? Yes. <sighs> you have to. No, it's, it's, it's just like the traps. There we go. Like I said, it is just like the traps in the other... The I don't, I don't remember them having that swimming glow on it, though. That's what mm, had yeah. me... Really? Yeah, they had that. Yep. Okay. Um, that's, by the way, that's it why doesn't I was confused. matter which way we go, but if we go to the right, there is a voriplasm. If we go to the left, there doesn't appear to be any mobs except a plant and a dead Hajmota or something. No, it's a... But that is loot. It's not a Hajmota, it's a... What was that, an Argonian behemoth? Oh, it's a behemoth, is it? Yeah. I wasn't paying much attention, I was I was looking for it. Well, I mean, it's 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 easy to, to mistake it as a Hajmota. Whoa! Oh, there's a... There's a horoplasm. Finally, I'll I'll wait till our next Emini before I hit uh, my ultimate. Is it just finally charged? I did say next. Milk shop. <coughs> I don't think I would want to call that a milk shop. <coughs> that was me talking to you, dummy. Yay! Why are you why are you calling me milk shop? You're the one who just got eaten by blood. How's the feeling? I did not get eaten by blood. It no. was having a good munch. <laughs> Now I need to have. Now I need to have good marks to hit five. I would imagine. Let me check. 
Um, character. Still at four. Okay, so I probably do need to eat something. If I can find someone to eat. Uh, what's that then? Doing. No, not this way, you dummy. Oh! Assholes! There's one at the top of the stairs. Yeah, I see him. Oh, it sounded rather pathetic. What about pathetic? That one. It sounded rather pathetic as it was it, dying. It was. Let me check my... It still says four. Health recovery. I don't know. What I, unless it was some... Unless it was... Unless I was only vampire five during the shape change, but it doesn't say that. Doesn't say uh, that you're in the um, all those things is temporary, you know, or only lasts the length of um, the duration of the spell. I'm ready to take the alchemist if you want the fear monger. I'm trying to see if I can get around to maybe eat the fear monger. Yep. Sorry, just going to eat your friend. It tastes like chicken. Let's see, check my character. It still says Vampire Stage 4. Health recovery minus 100%. Flame damage taken plus 20%, regular ability cost plus 12%, vampire ability cost minus 24%. So, uh, let me check something. So, well, that was just for that. Get that off, my, off there. Any other notifications I need? No. Alright, well, I'm just gonna. We'll just keep going, and when I can use my ultimate again, I'll just. Okay, uh, I'll careful. Use... The guard is likely on its. Uh, the mob is likely on its way back up that little corridor. There he is. He'll face this way for a bit, and then he'll turn back around. Or she. I can't tell from this distance. <clears throat> yeah, once I can use the ultimate again, um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna not use it in battle. Because when I use it, I want to quickly go into my character and see if that's where the, uh, if I'm in level five, uh, level five. Because I should be, right now, Vampire Stage 5. Because that's how, I, how I've been reading it, that's how I've understood it. Because that's how it's worded, because everything else would have a timer on it. I did not want to talk to you, I wanted to loot the pot. <laughs> I mean, when I read it to you, I mean, am I understanding it wrong? I don't think so, but I'd have, to, I'd have to look at it. Well, let's see. I uh, think skills? we may want to go and do the other entrances to this area as well. Let's see. Uh, look at the screen. Or are you fighting? I'm not fighting, I'm looking. Transforms. Let's see. Okay, so vampire level 5. Perfect Zion. Transform into a monstrous creature of the night instantly, healing to full health. While transformed, your max health, magic, and stamina increased, and you heal 15% of all damage. 
and scroll. Yeah. Control tag. Or is yeah, I'm scrolled, I'm scrolled all the way down. You also sent a drum pass stage 5, which grants all the benefits of drum pass stage 4 with them. That is when you transform. So, I'm, and, I'm miss- uh, you are in combat. Or somebody is in combat. So, I'm only vampire stage 5 when I transform? Yeah. Oh, well, then that's kind of sucky. I was hoping I wasn't misreading it. And you didn't listen to what I said about taking the other corridor down that leads to here first. No, I did not hear that. <laughs> I, sometimes when I try to think really hard about something, something on something else has to go. My body and cannot stand do on the trap. I know that. <laughs> Just easing, easing the burden on your brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. What? What's he even? Lantern. That was sat there. Er. Lantern mat, mat, lantern mantis plants. That was weird. It's something I got to uh, interact right? with. Interact with. Huh. That's the first one I saw. Let me see if I can kick somebody. Hello? Maybe? Nah. Fine. Did he actually turn and put his food down? Um, I do not know. This one that I attacked to start to start the battle, uh -huh. he actually calmly got up, and he either don't sit on that. Thank you. He either he was reached over and set his food down, or picked his sword up and then attacked. Huh. Cool. And then trying to loot that bag, I kept trying to sit down. <laughs> uh, mob at the bottom, moving away from us, if you're quick. If I give this sort of thing, I cannot believe you said that. So, the bathroom, when you're actually focused, you do not move terribly fast. This one is faster than you. That's what Delisa Dallas makes me faster. Don't doesn't hair. <clears throat> this one will show you how quick she is. Uh, can we, uh, crouch. And if crouch, you, if you get, is the, uh, plant got a yellow, um, mark thing around it, an aura? Yeah. If you get up really close to it fast, you should get a button that says incapacitate. Like that? that? Yeah! That's what I did to the other one. I wonder when that started. Maybe we were never crouched. Remember how I always said, I, I, I always wondered why they put those those plants out there and but we couldn't even... Why there lot of traps there? Are you listening to me? Did we did we just move in complete synchronicity there? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you see what I'm but saying? Yes, I am listening. I can <clears throat> listen and I can move at the same time. Okay. Well, um, remember you how I was. Also walk you come. <laughs> do not dust me! I will cut off your tail and I will ring it in through one ear and pull it out the other and tie it into a pretty little bow and then I will kick your butt. You have to catch me first, so. That vil- that fill of yard! See, you are caught! See, you are caught again! <laughs> Who's the idiot going, blah! Yeah. Yeah. The idiot who is trying to run away from a mob. 
But yeah, remember when <clears throat> when I we first encountered these plants and I made the comment that it seemed weird that they stuck plants in that could harm us, but we could and not we interact with them. Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't interact with them. I think we were never close enough to them crouched. Because why... Okay. I'm thinking that because these... I mean, they're carnivorous plants. And I recognize both of them from the surface. And we've never been able to interact with them on the surface. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking that's the only reason is we were never crouched. And that's the only way to interact with those carnivorous plants. Is to get right on top of them while crouched. And then you can incapacitate them. Mm. I'm sure as hell going to be checking that theory the second we are free up and on the surface. Uh huh. Ah! <laughs> this one was not looking at laser. I know this. That is why I was there and ready. No, I saw uh, against the back wall was a guy was was somebody and their dog, and I was looking at them. Because the dog got my attention because it was a brighter color. So I'm like, what is that? And then that's when I, mean, I was trying to get a better angle to see what that, to see, who, you know, who all there was there with the dog. And that put me right where I didn't want to be. Yep. <laughs> you should not have seen this one anyways. Sable is excellent sneaky and not toasty butt. You were right next to a, a blazing fire in the brazier. That has nothing to do with nothing. It has everything to do with it. I'm guessing that this dead thing is just always dead. Either that or we just timed it perfectly think, two times in I a row. I think it is there as warning that uh, plant is poisonous. <laughs> it's warning that keep going, you are going to get your butt kicked. Yep. Um. Jeez. I keep. It, that's another reason why I don't like being inside of pyramids. Everything looks the same. Mob coming. And you're thinking, man, are we leaving already? <laughs> we haven't done anything. It's, just everything looks the same. I don't have to keep feeding on them. I just can't do it. I want to be going. Let's see, how, how's my... I'm about two-thirds, three-quarters of the way to level vampire this, level this, six. This way milk's up. You're going to think milk's up. That was extra key, creepy. <laughs> Yay! No! Yeah! Uh, too late! Oh, maybe it wasn't, but it is now. <clears throat> no, the reason why I said it was extra creepy is because where I was, I was, um, it was pretty dark. So when you uh -huh. hit me with that, it, it lit uh -huh. up. What's her face crouched kind of behind me? Uh huh. So it's like she wasn't there, and then you cast that spell, and then there she was, almost like you summoned her to attack me. Hey. Oh, you did! Uh, 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 uh. Bad, bad lizard people. There's no way in hell you could have seen me. I do not know how they saw you at all. No, because I was right here, crouched, getting ready to go around like I did when I snuck up on them the last time. So there should have been no way they could have seen me.
Or maybe they didn't. Ooh, oh, behemoth. Oh, is that the. No. Is that the no, boss? It's, it's, no, it's not the boss. The only thing I could think of is maybe that uh, some of the uh, NPCs remember what happened. And so may maybe, just maybe, the friend was saying, hey, stupid, you know, listen close because you are going to die soon. I saw it. To disable that plot. That's quite the discovery. Let's see if we can. Ooh. Sex to look and pots. Well, they're gonna make something. Rye and seasoning. And salt rice. Let's see. Trying to sneak up. Oh, wait, they're facing the other way. Both of them? I don't know. I was just looking at the Argonian. Oh, no, they are both. They are both facing. Okay. I'm going to take out the Sulzon champion. Okay. Wait for me to get in position. I'm going okay. to disable the plant. Hang on. I just lost my headset. Okay. All right, sound check, please. Nothing. No sound. Because I can see you blinking. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can, loud and clear. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, are you in position? Not yet. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Going to incapacitate the plant again. Okay. And I am in position. Um, are now. you going to? You, so you're going to blade of woe the yep. Argonian on the right. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'll do the countdown. It will be three, two, one, go, and attack on go. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Yours didn't work, huh? No, mine did not work. Oh, I'm sorry. Many thanks. Be careful, Jayla. Don't worry, Raj Biko. We will. Raj that Biko. Is the last one. Let's yeah, that's see. us. Biko gel. Oh, that's Biko right. They call. Jayla. My egg brothers and sisters are safe thanks to you. There is one task left before us. If I have not yet reached the limits of your assistance, oh, I don't know how to get a we need it. to destroy the <laughs> idol of Zulonat to ensure <coughs> that Zulzan do not summon Definitely the pushing it. of destruction. Yeah. How do we do that? We must find where the Sulzan are keeping it first. It will likely be somewhere of great importance to them and heavily guarded. I just pray we are not too late. There has been so much death already. How does the idol of Zulnat work? From what we have seen thus far, it seems as though these terrible rituals tear the souls from the victim. I believe the Sulzan found a way to transfer the stolen spirits into the idol in order to power it. It is dark magic, certainly. Will destroying the idol prevent the Sulzan from doing this again? That I cannot know. I hope so. If it doesn't stop them completely, it will at least slow their schemes. Destroying the idol of Zulunat should at least protect others from being trapped here. That is enough for me. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. So perhaps the 
this one still crouched. Let's see. Sounds like type of mosquito. Or fly. Kind of like... It indeed does. It, it sounds like the chichi fly. Mm -hmm. Except it's the chichi yeah, fly. Oh, it's already absorbing spirits. So, you go ahead to do your sneak attack. Soon, we will have all that we need. Just cast healing on you and you moved. I wasn't watching. The idol is no more. Let us leave this place. There it is. See a sky shark. Uh -huh. Oh, something more important. And there it is. I was right. You have to be crouched, and then you can interact with it. Tells this one that we were supposed to be on ground. Ah! Fire, 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 fire. Pretty, pretty, pretty bright. Mm -hmm. What are you fighting now? Ooh, another plant. Sneak up incapacity. Sneak whoa, dude. <laughs> I overshot. <laughs> what if I can do it after it's done that? No I was just stealing you. I know. There you go. My healing. I went, th I went too far forward because you can still go through them. Uh -huh. That's what happened. Because I did see it. It did pop up. Man, he went from full to zero in a hurry. Yep. 
Wonder wonder why. I don't know. Oh, there's a bog blight. But this one just kind of looks like a kind of a drunk Argonian. Congrats. Thank you. Who do you want to get riding speed, stamina, or capacity? It's up to you. Whatever. Capacity. You feel. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Ah. 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 Entry full. Uh, let's use that uh, book. There we go. And uh, loot and heal. You do not yell heal to me, no sap. I am not dog. <laughs> not your pet you dog. Out of my heal again. <laughs> It is a heal over time. It does not last for long. <laughs> you could say, here's some heals for you. You do not just yell, heal! <laughs> I'm not going to run up to you and sit on the floor next to your feet. Why not? It is best place to be healed. Because <laughs> then you're not moving out of my healing range. Jumping for joy. I'm because feet get wet. Unworthy <laughs> feelings to you, brave warrior. Not only did you rescue my tribe, but you became a storm that tore free the evil roots of the Sulzan here. With this, you have saved many more innocents. Spawn worthy feelings to you. <laughs> That's an interesting phrase. Yeah. <laughs> Will you and your friends be safe now? Yes, thanks to you. The Suzan in this place will flounder without their idol, and my friends are now safely out of their reach. You saved us, and likely many more with your actions. Take this, Beagle Gel, with our thanks. What you have done for us, and others like us will not be forgotten. We will rest here until the others regain their strength. Be welcome and wallow with us if you wish. Uh, what will you do now? An excellent question. The grass bends to the wind, but we are not so yielding. We will take time to recover. But you helped ensure that we do not need to flee this place. If the Sulzan try to hunt us again in the future, we will be ready. What do you think will happen to the Sulzan? On the whole, I cannot say. The group that inhabited Zitze, however, will fade into the shadows to rekindle the power you ripped from their claws. Their cruelty might not be at an end, but it is at least interrupted. What if they target you again, once they regain strength? Then we will be ready for them, Beak Ogel. 
We were caught unawares this time, like a swarm of gnats that does not sense the frog's sticky tongue. Next time, we will not let ourselves become prey. Your generosity will not be wasted. Your analogies are getting wild. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you and your friends do now? On the whole, Let's I see. cannot say. The group that inhabited Zitze, however, will fade into the shadows right. to rekindle the power you ripped from their claws. All right. That takes care of that. So now let's see. Check map. Here, all, almost. And there goes my headset. Sound check, please. What do, what do? Loud and clear, thank you. Check the map again, let's see. Well, we have no quests, so let's see, what, let's see what the zone, how about we try the zone guide and see where it takes. Let's see. It doesn't really give us much more. Where does it? Wait. Hang on. Damn headset! <sighs> Sound check, please. That's these, that's these one, two, one, two. Thank you. Um, it's showing us to a pub a public dungeon. Uh, public dungeon. Mm -hmm. So I say we go to there to get it discovered. Okay. Because the public dungeons have, have a sky shard in them. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to go in them. And if we're careful, we can, uh, we can, uh, make it through. Uh-huh. With, um, Especially I mean, if you get your companion out as well. Yeah, I was going to say, provided we, you know, both have our companions out. And, uh, let me see if I have any, any, uh, food to, uh, give me a good uh, I see boost. A 4, I see a behemoth standing okay. in my direction. Hang on, I just lost my headset. Sound check, please. One, two, one, two. Thank you. Loud and clear. Behemoth. Behemoth. Yes. Wow, that was quick. to go rock climbing. Ah. 
Somebody else is watching. Heidi! Hey, Heidi, how are you? Thank you for popping in and coming and seeing what I'm up to. Where did you go? I'm going rock climbing. Tired of getting my feet wet. And lost my headset. That is not gonna let me. Sound check, please. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch, and no point going rock climbing. You just. <clears throat> Your headset went off, as I said, it's no point doing rock climbing. Why not? You get, to a, you get to a block. So we have to go down and follow shoreline. Yes. We have to get our paws wet. That's what I was doing. This one was perfectly happy getting a paws wet. I was not. I was not happy getting paws wet. Well, if you, if you were such a dandy cat, we wouldn't have to worry about that. That is not my fault. Oh, daily endeavor completed. Ah. Ooh, <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. I saw that from the side. That was awesome. <laughs> what? Totally interrupted that that ability and ah, threw it on a cooldown. Well, I guess. I mean, I can understand if this if that happened to you. I see a chest. I see a chest. Because it may, it would make more sense, you know, a kick to the man berries. You know, that would slow you down some. But you know, well, I guess a kick to the ovaries would do it too. Yeah. There goes the headset. Sound check, please. Uh, there is an advanced chest over here, and I have no inventory space. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the kitty cat out. You want to do this one? No. Okay. Here. All right. Let's see. Got it! First try! Uh, Deadlands Assassin's Ring, Beach Lightning Staff of Frost, both blues and 45 gold. So let's see. Other rings. Let's go to inventory. Let's see what that ring is. It is. Add stamina, which I don't need. But it's another piece that I could use. I mean, granted, I have all five for the assassin set. So, I'll equip it anyways. You need merchant? Uh... Wait, what the heck happened to my other ring? Hang on a second. Ring one. Huh, I guess... Okay, so what was the... Oh, it was the... Uh, it was the uh, necklace I was wearing that's... Also, Deadline Assassins. Um, I mean, a merchant couldn't hurt. That's it. Unboard in your pack at a reasonable rate of trade. Yes, yes? <laughs> yes, yes? Let's see, what do we have? Some coordinated claws. And headset that goes off. You have no idea how tempted I am Holy to actually to go on their website and just give them, send them a scathing email or something.
Oh, sound check, please. Nothing. Anything now? Yes. Loud and clear. Cool. Uh, let me know when you are finished with fizzes. Okay. There goes my headset again. <sighs> Sound check, please. Nothing. Sound test. Sound check, sound check, sound check. <laughs> that is getting really old. Isn't it? It's driving me insane. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's really I, pissing I me off. I don't know why you're still using that headset. I don't know why you haven't sent it back. It's not fit for purpose. I, I, I can't I can't send it back. The time expired on it. The 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 uh Amazon warranty thing is is uh is is up. It should have its own manufacturer's warranty. It uh, it might. You've I've not had you've not had it for twelve months yet. No. <clears throat> You might have to turn into a Karen and read your consumer rights. Oh, it's, no, it's just so unbelievably annoying. I mean, the thing is, though, it's technically not the fault of the headset. It's the fault of the router. No, it's the fault of the people that made this, because I've never had anything that the interfere, you know, that the router sound and a lot of people that's happened to. So it is a uh, manufacturing defect or a product defect. It's a design fault. Yeah, a design a flaw. Okay, a design flaw, which whichever, you know, it's it, you know, it's not supposed to do that. Nothing else does that. You know, so I don't know. No, More than unless it is physically de defective, the likelihood is that they can either turn around and say, "Yeah, it's our fault." We'll send you a new one that's wired, so you don't have to worry about it. Or they'll say, "It's not a problem. It's it's your router." It depends on the customer service. <clears throat> Yeah, but see, I, I customer services the latter, then slate them. Yeah, but see, but I you have sl you have slated them a lot on your streams. Mm -hmm. And it will not predispose them to being fair with you. <laughs> That's all right. Ah, bug dog. And I dismiss fezzes. Yes. Bad doggy. It actually 
only whimpered when I did my stun attack. I heard that whimper! And I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't want you to get swelled head. This one was going to say that it whimpered when you attacked it and I haven't heard the one whimper. Then if I go to your soft head and who knows you would be impossible to work with. You're kind of... Um... Laggy. You're jump. Uh, that's how I'm seeing you. You're kind of jumping. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, I see it a lot on yours. Maybe one of us is uh, going to uh, lock time out. What else is attacking? What did it's that work? Totem. Oh, was, oh, it had a totem? Yep. Ah, okay. I was wondering where that was coming from. Vampire stage five. Yep. Well, that's poopy. But what are you going to do? Ooh. Here's a simple chest. I don't really want to select my inventory what? that much more because I've just got rid of some. I still don't have a lot of room. I'm going into a public dungeon, are we not? True. Where are you, milk stuff? Are you getting stuff? Hold on to your tail. Not that tail! The really short one. Do you realize what you're saying, Dad? You're telling me not to hold on to the really short tail. <laughs> So I can cut it off! But telling me to hold on to my tail and not the short one. Cut them both off. Alright, there is a uh, thing of. There is runestone. Alright. Um. I'm looking at the time. Been streaming for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Streaming for just over two hours. Right. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to, I mean, if you're tired, you want to end the stream, we can. Um. So, uh, we don't know how big this public dungeon is. Right. There's food over there. There's what? You, you, you need a snack? There's a snack. There's... Oh, there's a snack. Maybe. Get the snack. A holding torch in hand. I'm seeing him. It is very difficult to not see snack. I, he did not have torch turned on when I first saw them. There's snacky snack. Oops. Hmm. 
Did players. you get this one that's furthest away with your feet? What? That's a that's a player and companion. Oh, it is a player. What are you talking? Who is it was enough to scroll over it? <laughs> Who's the milk up now? Why is it cross enough to see it? I don't know my eyesight is pretty good. No loot? No, no loot. That stinks. Because oh. <clears throat> that was lot of, that was lot of killing for one fly. It wasn't one fly, you didn't interrupt it, it summoned its That's that's I know spawn. I know. But that still technically was one fly. It just summoned more. So there was a lot to do. To kill just that one fly. It's kind of like wizard. If wizard summons a bunch of say imps, you know, it's still one wizard. It is wizard with imps. Yes, but if you kill wizard, then imps disappear. Imps are directly linked to wizard. What is that? Ooh, Wamasu. Want to fight Wamasu? Milk's up! I am talking to person. Okay, person? Oh. Okay. I, I talked to person. Now you were saying? Uh, there's a Wamasu over there. I will talk to there person is, too. There is an aura there of death about the one. So. A quite a dour and pervasive one at that. Oh, I remember her. It's a good thing we found each other. I can patch you up in no time. Just need to identify the source of your spiritual malaise. We did this one already, didn't we? Yeah. Do you want to fight? I'm fighting. Gathering mushrooms. Where's Wamasu? Oh. Still sleeping. What? Wamasu is still asleep. Go we'll sneak attack Wamasu. I still say this creature needs a more foreboding name. Wamasu just does not do it credit. It almost makes it sound like it's going to be kind of cuddly. Mm. Why is he pointing us up that way? Why is he pointing us that way? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, it's because it's not actually... Uh, it's not actually tracking the dungeon for me. It was it wasn't tracking it for me either, apparently. I'm not sure where we were going. Even though we have a even oh, mine set, have mine, up. Yeah. Rather than quest tracking up. It's still tracking quest. We have it's to send, it's sending us to the docks. And no it, the our our quest marker is the zone marker is not the zone because if you look at your uh, uh, compass, the dungeon has got a, a a circle around it. Yeah, but that, the actual quest door on the what's it isn't. Yeah, the uh, quest. I I don't I I don't remember if it actually logs it or, or you know tracks it or not. I don't remember. It's currently got a circle around. 
I think because it's, it's zone ranger. guide. Yeah, I think it's because it's zone guide. I think that's but how the zone guide is. Where my, where my quest log tracker usually is. That's where I've got zone guide open. Yeah. And that's what it's that's what it's showing me to. Yeah, but I'm thinking that the way that it does it, it's still I... qu it's still tracking the next quest I've got, not the zone guide. But you're not listening to what I'm trying to, trying to say. I think the way that it tracks zone zone guides and actual quests is different. I think it separates them. Yeah, but if you're selecting to track a, a zone guide rather than a quest, it should be tracking the zone guide. I don't Not think it works that. I don't think it works that way. I'm pointing out a floor in the same way that you yeah. keep pointing out the floor in your head set. Ah. And why are you dying? Because I was trying to kill two things with only my health sucky uh power. I am talking to the quest giver outside of the silent halls, but I need to go take a, a quick break. Okay. Right ahead. We'll be here when you get back. silent halls a willow said i could find it out this way but trees aren't great with directions what with staying in one place their whole lives and whatnot you're saying a tree sent you here yes and no i'm here because i'm looking for a harada creeper seed don't come by those very well ever Heard the wild elves kept a seed in Blackwood. Nobody remembers that, of course, except the trees. But listening to them gets me all fuzzy. Harada Creeper, that sounds kind of familiar somehow. It gets you fuzzy. That's what I said, isn't it? Got to be in the right state of mind for tree speaking. <laughs> yeah. It gets my thoughts in a jumble. I could use a clear head right now. Like yours. What say you help me find the Arada seed? I'll make it worth your while. Wow. Yeah, you definitely got to be in the right state of mind to be talking to trees. Um, see, this one will help you find the seed. Guess I should introduce myself then. Unless you're some sort of vision guide, then you probably know who I am. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, right. I'm Adrahon. Herbalist, arborist. All around friend of the green. <laughs> um, I'll have what he's having, bartender. <laughs> Are you all right? Green as grass. Why do you ask? Oh, you mean with my head? That's just because of the tree speaking. Most folks can't hear trees. Not really sure about those Argonians, but trees can tell you things if you know how to listen. How do you listen? The secrets in the leaves. Most folk think communing with nature is all about sitting by streams and meditating. But if you really want to open your mind to tree speaking, you've got to start thinking like them. That's where the leaves come in. 
<laughs> this one has no idea what you're talking about, but let's have a little, you know, hit of the catnip. No idea what he is talking about. <laughs> the leaves help you understand the trees? Of course. The green leaves leaves all around like little invitations. You just got to learn how to use them and open your mind. Then you'll really see all the things you've been missing in the world. <laughs> um... Tell me about this seed you were ser searching for. The Herada Creeper. Never Headset seen one myself. Off. But then again, most folks haven't. Okay, goodbye, because I'll have to start the conversation over. <coughs> well, for me to be able to hear it, I want to be able to hear what he has to say. Try it again. Guess Get past I should introduce myself then. Let's see. Uh, Unless you're some you. the Herada creeper. Never seen one myself. But then again, most folks haven't. <coughs> they only grow in the deadlands. And even then they're persnickety. But when Welcome they back. do, they uh, really I guess can. I don't need a sound check then. Most variety of Herada root <laughs> Headset just cut out. Elf so I'm just... I'm restarting my conversation with uh, the pothead. Let's see. Uh... Why do you want the seed? To cultivate, of course. Bet that's a plot with some good stories to tell. I read in one of Devaith Fear's books that it's got wondrous properties for medicinal purposes. And that's a mur who knows his salves from his sujama, eh? <laughs> Is growing a plant from the deadlands a good idea? Well, I suppose it could be poisonous. Oh, you mean like could it grow all over and make a mess of your garden like stranglers? Well, I bet it grows like crazy somewhere that isn't all ash pits and lava. But I'm going to keep mine in planters. There goes my headset again. Luckily, I only missed the last three words of that sentence. And it'll probably cut it. Let's see. You're pissing me off. Sound check, please. Sound check? Loud and clear. Let's try to finish this conversation. Myself, then. See, you came out the way from oh, Blackwood no, for this. I came here to learn about his trees. The Argonians hold them sacred as the green, so I figure they're trees worth meeting. You don't find those in Valenwood. I was trying to get introduced to one when I heard about the wild elves. Wild elves? Ah, what's the word? Aliads, I think, if you want to be proper. Used to be all over before the Empire wiped them out. Bad blood between them. What with the Daedra warship and enslaving. But some good might come of it if they kept a seed here. Finally, it took about three, four tries to finish that conversation with him. Mm -hmm. But that is, I mean, the concept they're using is really an interesting idea, if you think about it. Because obviously he's talking about somehow consuming the leaves. And to think about, you know, there are so many different uh, trees. Just like, think about just like marijuana. There are so many different strains of cannabis out there. And instead of just saying that, like, say you, you smoke a specific strain of, of uh, cannabis and you get some kind of high if you hallucinate, which I've never hallucinated. But like, say you're you're thinking of things or hearing things or whatever, and instead of it just being that strain's hallucinogenic effects effect, you know, on you, it's actually that plant 
speaking to you in the in the way that it speaks naturally. Mm. And it speaks through the hallucinations and the patterns and the stuff that you experience. Uh -huh. Kind of like what he's saying. I'm thinking that's a really interesting concept. If you think about it. Anyways, let's see, how close are we getting? I've got, it looks like about 80% of the way to level 6 on Vampire. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to end the stream? Do you want to... Oh. <laughs> The only things that we've got left to do are public dungeons, world bosses, sky shards, and books. Yeah. The books, I don't care about. The books, we can do that off stream because that will be. Because that's just going to be boring. Excuse but me. I, I don't think with your headset cutting out all the time that it's a good idea to do the public dungeon. Yeah, um, we can we can do it tomorrow. I I'm, I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go back. I to can't Z do it tomorrow. I'm working oh. tomorrow. It's my late tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Um, well, ne next next uh, next stream. Uh, Saturday. It's gonna be possibly Sunday for me. Oh, okay, so Saturday you're bit you're. Because um, I'm doing, I'm charity streaming for full. Right. Okay. So Sunday. Uh, um, when... Which is half an hour ago in current time zone. Ah. Um, so, well, the next time I stream, I'm, I'm just going to go back to my, my razor. I'm just not going to put up with this. I mean, if it only happened like a, once or twice during the stream, that's okay. But this is like, I don't know how many times it's been. Probably close to a dozen. Possibly even more. Yeah. So, because it, it dropped out three or four times in quick succession at one point, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, probably right after, um, I don't know, probably right after I, I don't know, sometime between now, I'm um, sometime <laughs> not now, but sometime between when I end the stream and I shut my computer off for, the, for my day, I'm going to uh switch to. Uh, back to the razor. Okay. It's uncomfortable, makes my head hurt. But, I mean, if I have to, I can jerry-rig it. I mean, this thing is incredibly comfortable, but, you know, it's just... Until either I get another headset or I can get into my router, which I don't know what, why I can't. You know, once I can get into my router and then I'll have it not do that, then I'll try this headset again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, we can go ahead and just end, end, end the stream here. Okay, okay. So, let me see what I had got collections that it wanted me to. I got something. Oh, it was that ring. Okay, what else? Something. Oh. That's definitely not something I would want because I want her to have health. Let's see. Well, there's that's a hmm, that one's six levels higher, and basically it's the same thing only just higher level. Nice. There we go. I have, I have two bog raider raiders girdle, but one of them is just uh, a higher level by six. And the lower level is half trashed. Yeah. So I'm going to unlock this one and lock this one. Okay. Hands with not just garbage. All right. Yeah, so so now I've got I've got five pieces of the Deadland Assassin set on, which is 
dealing damage to an enemy within 10 meters of you with a heavy attack, which I don't don't use, causes you to throw a cone of knives. But I could, I mean, I will use heavy attacks again. But right now, I'm just spamming her vampire attacks to get the experience off of it. But it says, uh, dealing 2,385 physical damage to enemies hit. If an enemy hit has has fifty percent health or less, they also take an additional four thousand seven hundred sixty-seven bleed damage over thirteen seconds. This effect can occur once every fifteen seconds and scales off the higher of your weapon and spell damage. That's the that's where I'm at on that armor. And then I've got let's see, I've got a couple of I've got two pieces of bog raider on which gives me um adds 1181 maximum magica mm -hmm. so anyways let's I'll go ahead and get her logged out and something right there for now Alright. Okay, well then that's gonna do it, folks. <laughs> All I can say is I am just grateful that whenever this thing cut out that it didn't interrupt the sound for you guys. That is the most important thing. So um <laughs> so that way it didn't I mean, yeah, it was still a pain because I had to stop and fiddle with it and Especially when I get heated, but I mean, who wouldn't be? But anyways, that's going to do it for today. So, um, probably, I mean, I should be, I'll probably stream Saturday, more than likely. Um, I mean, I've got, I've got, uh, what's her face? <laughs> Raven, we've got more, I mean, we still have to clean up in Davin's Watch. Um, I've got, um, what did I call him, the discarded one. I got him I can play, fiddle around with, you know. Okay, we'll, we'll figure something out and um, won't have this stupid thing on. I'll have a different, I'll have my old rickety wired one which i don't which i hate because i have to it's i don't know there's little fairies or gnomes or something that that just twist the shit out of that thing i'm always having to unwind it but anyways that's gonna do it folks thanks for being here thanks to amy and heidi for popping in uh the uh facebook live uh version of this um I hope you had a good time, and I will see you all if on you Saturday. If you Facebook, please come and follow on Twitch. We need yes. Twitch followers and Twitch yes. viewers, please. Thank you for for that, Mary. Yes, I, I need Twitch viewers badly. <laughs> uh, I'm, try, I'm trying to at least get to where I could be affiliate, and that only takes 50. And I'm sitting at really really low i still think i'm below 20. i haven't checked well let's go check while i'm doing that let's just peek and see how many followers i have click on myself my channel uh i have 15 followers at this point so I need another 35, 35. 35 followers to get so that way I'll, I can become affiliate. And it's free. I, you know, think the, the, I think you already meet the criteria, the other criteria for affiliate. Yeah, I think it had to do with, had, so you had to produce so many. So many yeah, times. right, right. Yeah, so it's completely free uh, to, uh, to follow. So, you know. Come on, you know, come and join me. I'd really appreciate it. 
And uh, with that said, thank you, Mary, for being here. We got to have a little fun giving each other a hard time, <laughs> which makes it just that much more fun. So anyways, um, thank you again, folks, for everything. I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you more than likely this coming Saturday. So take care, everyone. Thanks again, Mary. I want to say bye to everybody again. Bye, everybody again. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.